Alright, welcome back everybody, it's your boy Motor Man Dan, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Magic Longbow. Long ranged shot penetrates to additional enemy, secondary is three stage, charge multi-shot, deals physical damage. Now I'm a fan, I'm a huge fan of, of the Longbow, I think it's a really good weapon. It's definitely maybe better than the Blunderbuss. In my personal experience, I like it more than the Blunderbuss, just because it can really shred the big guys. At the cost of all your mana, you can kill big guys really quick. Um... Plus, it's, it's really easy to kind of line these shots up against bats, and it does really well against bats as well. Uh, although, the blunderbuss is kind of cool because it does kind of knock enemies down from time to time and some other stuff. But anyways, um, headshot 50 uh, enemies. Or, I think it's, yeah. Headshot enemies 50 times to unlock the unique upgrades. Level upgrades is to increase the primary attack rate. Um, then the unique upgrades is to give the primary attack bleeding. And the other one is secondary fires burst in a straight line. Uh, I always run bleed because I've never found myself needing to fire my shots in a straight line. If I need, it does a lot of damage. But if I need to like focus one enemy, I'll just get close enough to spam my right mouse button and kill them right in front of me versus farther away. I think one of the cool things that the longbow could have done is that headshots do bonus damage because... The way that headshots work is you have your value from the from the weapon, right? It's either at 60% or it's 100% of its base value, which is uh, the only ones that are 60% is the Gatling gun and the and the um, blunderbuss. And so this could make it to where it's like 150%, um, because enemies also have a headshot multiplier as well. So uh, Mon Mongrel, for example, has 7.5, but I'm pretty sure. Gorbash is like a two. Um, so he only takes, like, I don't know if it's a divis if, if it divides it or multiplies from the value that you get from the weapon, but it'd be cool if Magic Lombo had the other one where headshots uh, do more damage. Um, or even if it's like a 30% increase. Uh, and we're going to jump into the game and kind of talk about why I think that. But I think that would be better than secondary fires burst in a straight line. Not only because it makes a little bit more sense, this is, this is a, like... If there's any kind of tool you have for sniping, this is a sniping tool. Like, if, if there's anything that is, this is it. But on top of that, um, whenever you headshot kill something, they're actually worth double score. So if you're going for combos, it might be a good idea if they had that as the unique upgrade to bring that instead of bleed and get bleed off something else. Um, I don't know. But uh, it, it would definitely be something to play around with for sure. Um, but regardless, this is what we got. So secondary fires burst in a straight line. I'll show you why you don't need it in in game. But first, let's take a look at the game files. Okay, first thing we got to talk about is the longbow attributes. We have a primary pierce count of one. Um, secondary charge count of two. It, it has two stages. Well, one, two, three, three stages really, but the first stage doesn't count as one. Um, the secondary uh, charge mana cost is ten. The secondary mana cost is 25. So 25 for the first, like just clicking it. And then if you click and hold it, it's two more times of 10 um, to get the full, you know, spread. Uh, your primary damage is 22. Secondary damage is 75. Weapon Pro Tools, we have our fire rate, uh, which is 0.7, which is um, 1.42 attacks per second. The status effect protos, if you get the bleed, we'll take a look at this before the upgrades. If you get the bleed, the status effect proto is uh, six damage a second for three seconds. And that's it. And the upgrades, we have the increased primary attack fire rate by uh, minus 0 0.08, minus 0 0.04, and minus 0 0.08. All that information is here as to what that is, which makes it eventually two attacks per second. The difference is very noticeable. If you're if you're playing like as a brand new account, uh, it is absolutely noticeable the fire rate difference. <laughs> but uh, just know that it's quite a, it's quite a bit of improvement. It's not quite double, but it is a good improvement. The next one is the primary attack bleeds on hit. We just looked at that, and then the secondary fires burst in a straight line. And this is use secondary burst, which is true. Uh, Lombo reticle burst, blase blase, gives you good. Um, Okay, let's take a look at in game as to why you don't actually need the secondary fires burst in a straight line if you're trying to burst down big guys. I guess it could work if you have a long stretch of a kill box and you just want to do a lot of damage in one space, I guess. I don't know. Um, 
but yeah, let's just jump into a game and take a look. All right, so here we are in Secret Fortress. The very first thing to come out that door is an Armored Ogre. We're going to take a look at how much damage we do with the right mouse button in close range, like we would normally use it. Okay, so it went just below the R and the E. Or, I'm sorry, just, just in the middle of the R for Armored Ogre. Okay, now we're going to switch it over to the uh, straight projectiles. All right. Same thing. Right in the middle of the R. So, in that instance, why wouldn't you do bleed, right? You're going to get more damage on every auto attack if you run bleed. And that's just kind of my argument against ever running the straight line shot thing. Unless you're actually firing in a straight line, that's fine. A lot of times your kill box will zigzag. But if it doesn't, and it's just in a straight line, I guess, then sure, do it. Um, whatever makes you happy. But um, <clears throat> there's one more thing I want to show you guys about the longbow, and one of the reasons I really, really like it as a weapon. So one of the reasons I love the longbow, it's one of the few weapons that has this option, is the zoom. It's one of the reasons. The other reason I really like the pierce with the bleed on the bats, and I'll show you why here in a second. But one of the things it's great for, headshotting, you know? And uh, so that void bat took some damage. All it takes is two attacks and you and you kill a bat so if you got them stacked up like this do two attacks here two attacks there hit two attacks there and you can even if you if you have good aim you can even pierce through and get a headshot so you don't actually have to have that good of an aim oh and the zoom by default is middle mouse wheel there is stuff in the options for it so you can sit here and kind of play uh you know alien invaders It's actually, it actually is Alien Invaders. Um, but anyways, so you can sit there and do that. If you don't have the bleed, it's going to take three shots instead of two. So it's going to take a little bit of extra work. Um, and that means that the pierce that it has isn't going to be as useful either because the pierce will bleed both enemies. Bleed actually adds extra combos, of course, as well. So I don't know. Let me know if you use it. Um, but yeah, I just I really like the, the Magic Lombard. I think it's in a good spot, but I think... It needs to have some other sniping capability. Like, the bleed is nice, right? But I just don't think the other unique upgrade is, is as good as it could be because the weapon is a sniping-style weapon. You don't really have any other weapon like that. Yes, they all have relatively infinite range, but that's, like, the best one for sniping. It has a lot of headshot damage because it does a lot of damage base. But still, and I like to use them against the Cyclopses. They, they die in one hit from the headshots. Um, Bats on Apprentice die in one hit with the bleed. Of course, I had one, uh, one hit for the headshots either way. Um, but yeah, so that's the Magic Lombo. Guys, let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, if you use it, if you don't use it, why, why not, in the comments below. I will check. If you've got any questions about it, uh, you know, put those down there. If you're looking for any information or any answers to questions you might have, check the comments as well. Um, and yeah, with that being said, uh, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I, I uh, upload to YouTube. I stream on Twitch.tv slash Dan. So check us out there. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. All right, deuces.